Hello and welcome to this edition of Yonder Law. On Yonder Law, we basically add law to the news, but from time to time we move away from the news to discuss other issues of law surrounding everyday living. This is one of such instances. My name is Ekemenudim, I'm a legal practitioner, and on this episode of the show, I am discussing the punishment for landlords who forcefully remove tenants from their houses. For some time, I mean, for some reasons, landlords um, have done this over and over, you know, in some communities in Nigeria. Instances are where the landlord, for reason of non-payment of rent, or for the fact that the landlord and the wife don't even don't really want to see this tenant anymore in the apartment, resorts to self-help for the purpose of dragging the tenant out of the apartments. This takes several dimensions, like tipping sand at the entrance of the apartment and making it impossible for the tenant to easily get out or get into the apartment, or removing the roof of the apartment to allow rain to drop into the apartment and make the habitation of the apartment extremely difficult, in fact, impossible, you know, for the tenants. Others go to the extent of getting another padlock to counterlock the the entrance to the apartment. Others go to the extent of moving directly into the living uh, uh, apartment to bring out chairs, bring out, you know, other things like that from the tenants, you know, uh, living room to make it impossible for the tenants to continue to live there. We also have instances where um, some landlords um, go to the back of the apartment to turn off water supply and also disconnect the um, electricity supply to the apartment. There are many instances of um, these actions by several landlords. But well, did you know that taking these actions is against the law? Did you know that there are punishments for, you know, taking, resorting to self-help as a landlord? Let's look at the laws. And for want of time, we are going to look at only two states of the Federation of Nigeria. And that gives you an idea of how the law frowns at um, these tendencies by some landlords. Under the um, Rent Control and Recovery of Premises Law of Aquibom States, it is against the law for a landlord, it's an offense for a landlord to demolish, to alter, to modify, or to do anything with intent to forcefully eject a tenant from an apartment, or to harass the tenant, molest the tenant, intimidate the tenant, all in a bid to forcefully eject the tenant from the apartment. It's against the Aquibum State Rent and Recovery of Premises Control you know, uh, law. And what's the punishment in a quiet bomb for that? The punishment for a landlord who does that, if the landlord is taken to the court, you know, tried and convicted by the court, the punishment is a fine of 5,000 naira or imprisonment for three months or both. So the trial court has the power to make a pronouncement against the landlord to the extent that he pays 5,000 naira as fine and also go to prison custody and serve three months there or pay fine alone or go to prison. Any of the two can be you know, decided upon by the trial magistrate or by the trial you know, high court judge. Now, let's also look at what happens in Lagos State, Nigeria. And Lagos happens to be um, a densely populated part of Nigeria where there are so many tenants and where there are so many landlords. Now, what says the law in Lagos states? Under the Lagos State Tenancy Law, it is an offense for a landlord to forcefully remove a tenant, to do anything to forcefully take the tenant out of the apartment, you know, for want of payment, of rent, or for whatever reason whatsoever. So in Lagos, under the, 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 the um, Lagos State Tenancy Law, where a landlord does anything to molest, to intimidate, tipping sand, removing the roof, uh, counter-locking the apartment, or doing anything intended to forcefully remove the tenant from the property, that landlord has a case to answer in a court of law. 
And if he's taken to the court, what's the punishment? The punishment is um, six months imprisonment if the landlord is found guilty, six months imprisonment, or a fine of 250,000 naira. So imagine if you're, the rent you are even charging the tenant is 100,000 naira, and you go to molest the tenant, you go to do all manner of things to forcefully eject the tenant. The punishment when you are taken to the court is that you're going to pay a sum of 250,000 naira as fine, and you can also go to prison and serve for six months, you know, or the, the trial magistrate has the right to make any other non-custodial disposition or pronouncement against you. So you can see clearly that it is wrong, even though you are the owner of the property, you are the man that bought the sand, the gravel, the cement, the water, and everything that was used in constructing that building. It is wrong. When you use force to remove the tenant, the law comes against you very directly. But what's the proper thing to do in a situation where you have a recalcitrant tenant who doesn't want to pay rent, who doesn't want to vacate the property, who doesn't want to do anything that other tenants do, you know, to have um, happy living uh, in the property and to also live in such a way that other people are not disturbed by his actions. What's the proper thing to do? The proper thing to do is for the landlord to issue requisite notices to the tenant. Notice to quit, notice of owner's intention to recover possession, and then you go to court and then ask the court to eject the tenant. You can do this by yourself as the landlord. You can also go to a lawyer to do this. If you want to get it right, I think it is always advisable to get a lawyer to do this for you. In essence, what the law requires of the landlord is that instead of resorting to self-help, the landlord should follow the due process of law and then get the tenant removed. It is not the law. The law does not encourage recalcitrant tenants to continue staying in your property. The law does not allow a tenant who doesn't pay rent to continue living in your property. So it is a misconception to think that if you follow the, the way of the law, that um, you're not going to get what you want. So follow the way of the law. Issue requisite notices and let the pronouncement come from the court removing that tenant from that premises. It is not for you to resort to self-help. I have said clearly that a landlord who resorts to self-help will certainly have questions to answer in the court of law. You pay fine, you go to prison, and so on. So, landlords, be properly advised. Don't do what the law is going to punish you, you know, for the action that you take. I do hope you have learned one or two things, you know, from this episode of um, You and the Law. And I hope also that tenants, I mean, the landlords will not resort to self-help moving forward. Thank you very much for watching this episode of You and the Law. Continue to watch You and the Law. And do remember to subscribe to this channel so that from time to time, we notify you of new videos that have been loaded so that you can learn as much as you can to guide yourself from falling into trouble under, I mean, in, with the law. Thank you very much and do remain blessed. Mm -hmm.